What are you doing? You're messing around. <laughs> Loft meeting. Loft meeting. Today we're talking about episode 220 called Chicago, a Chicago. city that Lamorne knows nothing about, so prepare to be educated. <laughs> <laughs> it's only the greatest city in the world. <laughs> and it's like, if you go and look up like those surveys and it says greatest cities in the world, Chicago is always number one, so I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> Survey one person named Lamorne Morris. <laughs> the survey says. <laughs> I would, by uh, the way, that's my dream to host that show. You want to host that show? I would love to host that show. Ask Steve if you can guest host. I know you guys are friends. Steve and I have never met. Steve, nope. if you ever retire, um, he, you he want... eating too good. He eating too good for that know, show. But one day, look, I can host it in twenty years. Uh, I'm, I'm a longtime fan. Long time yeah, fan, long time watcher, long time listener. <laughs> Same here. I love the Family Feud, oh, I, and I love it for Steve. So if you, you would never host show, it, I don't know. I would. I, I mean, you kidding me? Yeah, absolutely. Can you I imagine would. if Steve ever retired, but we did a two host format, and then we would be like on each side to go like down? You know, it'd be great. Mm, yeah, you could host. I'll be like the audience correspondent. Oh, I'll just yeah. the camera will just pan to me every once in a while, and I'll go. Mm-mm. <laughs> that ain't right. Ha ha, y'all crazy. That's what I would do. Yeah, the reinvention. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, call us in 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> Chicago. Okay, so let's dive right in. You want to take this one? Yes. How did Jess somehow get a... <laughs> this? I, wait, I thought this too when I watched this. How did Jess somehow get a perfectly fitting Elvis costume in Chicago? The one they had for the other guy would have been ginormous on her from Ellie. That's just movie <laughs> magic. That's just movie magic because it, that, you had to yeah. sell it. You had to sell it. You know, yeah. maybe she put some clothespins in the back or something. But yes, it's a totally different suit made for Zoe. 100%. <laughs> That's the answer. 100%. Or what we could do, what we could say mm. is, you know, backstory wise that oh. she knew. Oh. So what she did was she Prepared. went out. That's a very Jessica Day thing. And prepped it and said, just in case, mm. I'm going to have a backup Elvis costume. Mm, I like could this. Have been, but that's not what happened. That's not um, what happened. But I like that theory in terms of yeah. like in the sh in the story. Yeah, but I Deborah like McGuire it. made uh, two costumes for sure. <laughs> one big, one small. That's it. Mm -hmm. All right, next one. Okay. Um, hi. Ooh. I have a question for the pod. Episode two twenty Chicago. Was it really Dennis Farina in the casket or a fake body? Thanks so much. Love the podcast. Rivka. Is it Rivka? Rivka. Rivka. Mm. No, that was I I'm just going to I'm just going to say Dennis did not sign up to lie in a casket. Yeah, I'm going to say no too. No, it wasn't him. A doppelganger? Uh, a lookalike? Yeah. No, I'm going to go ahead and say that was not Dennis <laughs> lying in that casket. Um in fact, I remember we were from a distance when you were looking at it. Like when I got there, I was like, oh man, that's that whoever that's whoever's in there looks exactly like him. Yeah. You know? And I think even at one point from wide shots, it's just a fake, it's like a, it's a mannequin. A dummy body yeah. mannequin that's in there. Yeah. Nope. 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 Um, okay. Next question. Hi. This from is Chicago. All caps. Yeah. Big, big letters. Hi. From Chicago. BTW. Mm hmm. Was the Chicago episode actually filmed in Chicago? Mm -hmm. I know, Lamorne, you're from there, and so is Jake. So was curious, or was it filmed in L.A. slash somewhere else from Samantha? Uh, no, not in Chicago. We, In fact, we shot that in Altadena, Altadena, California. And I remember it because as we were driving through, we just kept talking about how beautiful the houses were, <laughs> you know. Uh, Jake, Zoe, uh, and at one point I th I want to say Jake said, "Oh man, this is a great neighborhood. Like I could see myself living over here." Um, and uh, I want to say he ended up near ish, near yeah, near. He's like, on that part of, in that part of L.A., that town, that part of you know the city. I mean, uh, because, a real fact is that New Girl never shot out of L.A. Yeah. Like never. in the surrounding communities, like we never traveled. I remember that. Remember like the year before, didn't Modern Family do an episode in Hawaii or something? Like it used to be in like literally just like the 
small previous generation of sitcoms, there was always like a destination episode where they yeah. would shoot somewhere else. I don't know why. Maybe the, the show had done well enough and they gave like a little treat. And they said, yeah. go shoot in a fun place. But um, New Girl never never shot outside of LA. Never. Ever. Um, um, but... Boy, did we hope we did. Yeah. Boy, were we, we really like... thought, because I think it was Modern Family went to Hawaii the year before, and then our show came out, and then it hit, and it was doing really well, and we thought like, ooh, I wonder where they're going to send us. It almost felt like a given yeah. that we were going to get to go somewhere, and then it just never happened. Like, just things changed, and economies changed, and it just, I guess, switched, and we never got to go and shoot somewhere else. Yeah. Now I know we could have went to Kenya. We would have got some <laughs> over Kenya or Cape Town. A little Johannesburg action. But yeah. No. 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 The fans were there, but no. Mm -hmm. All right. You want to take this next one? All right. Next one is the baggy. I cannot wait to hear you guys talk about the Chicago opener. Peak comedy, that juxtaposition between Nick's news and the gang's voices gets me every time. The helium. Mm -hmm. um, by far some of the best lines and scenes in this one. I know CC isn't in it, but between Winston pretending to be dead and then Schmidt calling him a ghoul to Schmidt hiding behind the door when Nick comes in after having one dozen beers. Winston saying, am I right? And looking at Nick just right when he does it to Schmidt and the casket scene. Perfection. Oddly enough, though, I always fast forward through the part where Jess sings. I don't know if it's, if it's just that I don't particularly like that Elvis song, but I cringe every part time that every time that part starts. How many of the scenes I mentioned actually were scripted or were they more ad-libbed? How many takes did you all have to go through on some of those hilarious scenes? Love the inside look at the show on the podcast. I'm so happy I can stream it because watching it when it was on those six seasons just wasn't enough. Six seasons? Seven seasons? I guess we did six in a bit. Six in a bit. Yeah. Um, a bit. Love the show. From Katie. Katie. Katie, what if, this is interesting, Hannah, what if Katie just didn't know about the seventh season and <gasps> hasn't seen it? Katie. Katie. I got news for you. Wow. Hidden this eight. the seventh season. Hidden eight episodes just, just laying around. Oh, my gosh. You should gosh. find them, Katie. If you haven't found them, you should find them. <laughs> yeah, they're great. Wow. Yeah. Uh, let's talk. Okay, so. How many of the scenes I mentioned actually scripted or were they just ad-libbed? How many takes did you have to go through on some of those hilarious scenes? So when I was sitting in bed and I was pretending to be dead with with Schmidt, a lot of stuff didn't make the cut and because Max was just improvising a ton. Because I'm just lying there and he's doing all this stuff and, you know, he's being Max, full Max. And a lot of times... I'm laughing. So we have to, when it's on my coverage, you have to keep redoing it and, and retaking it. Um, so on that, I, I can't tell you exactly how many takes, but we went through a lot. That was true for, and typical for our show period. And in general, we would go through a lot of different takes because honestly, it's just a cast of a bunch of funny people. Mm -hmm. And when we get together, our goal on the day, yes, is to get the scene done, but it's also to make each other laugh <laughs> and, to, and to have fun. And I think we all do a great job of kind of messing with each other. So in that scene, I could tell you it took a lot. That opening moment when, when, when we're talking with the helium balloons and you got Bill Burr going in on, um, you know, not the opening one, but the opening one once he gets to Chicago. I mean, it was like an all star stand up comedy <sighs> cast. Like they let him go. It, they yeah. let him go and improv and ad lib and get and it's supposed to be a family dynamic. Right. And you mm -hmm. want that to feel authentic. So a lot of yeah. improv. Yeah, I, I, I had the most fun just kind of being around that environment and. And being a part of people who are considered legends, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like those actors are considered legends in the comedy realm. And uh, to say you were a part of something like that is 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 fantastic. And then Jake was there too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, and that opening scene with the helium, it does get me. I really love that moment. It does make yeah. me laugh because it's just um, all the nightmares. Your friend mm -hmm. comes fully vulnerable and and like pours their heart out with the most terrible news to you. And mm -hmm. what can you do? Saying nothing makes you look like a jerk. You got to say something, but saying something with a helium voice. Yeah. I, mm, there's no way and out. No way out. Um, 
Yeah. So Chicago. That would have yeah. been cool if you guys had got to shoot it in Chicago. You know what's crazy? I wanted to, and obviously I wanted to, and I thought when we read it, that's what was going to happen. I remember I that. Would, yeah. I remember when we read it, I remember you asking, you were like, do we get yeah. to go? Yeah. And, you know, and it obviously that didn't happen. But what they did was they brought in, so they have these snow machines that will shoot fake snow all over the trees and over the ground. And then they would take these blankets of cotton and just like wrap certain trees in it and wrap like certain lawns in this to make it look like it was the dead of winter in Chicago. Mm. Uh, and, and, and some of the houses, like I said, in that Altadena area do resemble certain parts, especially like the north side of Chicago, certain parts of that area. Um, I think uh, I think they did a great job of making it feel that way and look that way. Uh, even when they cast like, like Nick Kroll doing his Chicago accent. So <laughs> funny. <laughs> so, so funny. Uh, but yeah, it was great. Great episode. Mm-hmm. What a great episode. Thank you for these great questions. We love holding these laughs meetings yes with ya all right that's the show join us on tuesday to recap season two episode 21 first date that's right go to our website check out our latest merch you can also follow us on instagram at the mess around pod that's where you can go you can leave comments questions concerns or if you have a question or you want to leave us a voicemail you can email us also at the mess around pod at gmail.com that's the mess around pod at gmail.com Love ya. Bye. Bye.